Now this morning, this is a lemon drizzle cake. This recipe is from a friend of mine called Helen. And this is a very easy recipe. Again, it's all in one, but as always, I like to work the butter and sugar together because if you don't and you start mixing, you're gonna have mixture everywhere. So in here, I've got four ounces of butter, which I have softened with my golden pasta sugar. So I'll put that to one side. And then in this mixing bowl, I've got my six ounces of self-raisin flour. And as you can see, I've got ground almonds in there. I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. And remember, when it comes to teaspoons of baking powder, any raising agent, you need to make sure it's level. And sorry, I bang, the spoons are banging again, but I won't take them off the handle because I'll lose them then. So we'll just mix that in, sieve that in. So we've got that mixed into the mixture. There we are. Mix it round and we're all ready to start cooking the cake. So into here, into the sugar and butter, which I, like I've said, I've worked together. I'm adding six ounces of self-raisin flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and two ounces of ground almonds. In this bowl, I've got two eggs, which I've lightly beaten. I'm going to beat into that four tablespoons of milk. Tip that all in. Now remember, we need the baking powder because we're doing this the all-in-one method so we don't get the chance of adding all that air into the mixture. So that's the last of the egg in. Bit of that, bit of that. And we'll mix this. Apologise for the noise, but we're going to mix these together. basically incorporated but we need all these bits off the side to ensure everything gets really well mixed in. So scrape down the side of your bowl. And then let's give it another good mix. <laughs> Now, like when we did the orange and ginger cake, don't add your lemon rind until the very end. Because if you put that in, as I've said before, when you're doing the, um, using, still using the mixer, you'll end up with all these nice pieces of lemon rind on the mixer and not in your cake. So we'll scrape that in. Scrape every last bit off there. Just combine it, just mix it in with a large metal spoon, a tablespoon, get it all well mixed together. And it should just drop off your spoon at a flick of your wrist. There we are. Now I've got my tin already lined. Uh, I know if you're entering a WI competition, you won't be allowed this sort of lining, but I must admit, I do use these. I think they're brilliant and they save an awful lot of effort. Now just tip your mixture in. more difficult than when you're doing a tray bake to get it exactly in the, in the tin. If you prefer a tray bake recipe, there is one. It doesn't have the ground almonds in. I think the ground almonds helps to keep this cake nice and moist and that's why I like this one. But this is a loaf rather than a tray bake. But there will be a tray bake lemon drizzle on the website on busy www dash busybakers-dash.co.uk Scrape that off. Let's get 
this last bit of mixture in. None of this leaving for somebody to lick the ball. There we are. Clean ball. Off there. And just spread it around in the tin. It's got it level. And then the oven's preheated. It's at 160 fan, or oh, that's 180 Fahrenheit uh, centigrade. 160 fan, 180 centigrade, or gas mark four. And it goes in for up to an hour. I usually check it after 45 minutes. And you'll know if it's ready, it should be coming away from the side slightly, and in the centre it should be firm. I'm not a great one for sticking skewers into cakes. I like to just to check by touching it. So there we are. There's our lemon drizzle cake, which has got ground almonds in it and the lemon topping we will put on when it's cool. So lemon drizzle, I'm going to go and put it into the oven. Middle shelf of the oven. Set the timer. There's our lemon drizzle baking. Now all I've got to do is the washing up. Thank you. I'll see you shortly. Right, 45 minutes has passed, so we'll have a look at the cake. And there we have it. That's after 45 minutes, so it doesn't need up to the full hour. Look, it's nice and bouncy, evenly golden. Right, now it's out of the oven, we're going to put the topping on it. So we need three tablespoons of granulated sugar to go in with the, the lemon juice. Remember we took the rind and, lem and juice from one lemon. Just mix this together and we're just going to spoon this over the top while it's still hot while it's just come out the tin and like I've said before I like it to stay in the, in the tin because you don't get the mess everywhere and just spoon it over so we've got that nice lemon drizzle and the sugary topping going through the cake this will store well in a cake tin for a couple of days. And there we have it. A lemon drizzle loaf. The recipe from my friend Helen. I hope you enjoy eating this one. Let's tip it to you so you can see. But I haven't got asbestos hands so I can't do it without. So there we are. Lemon drizzle loaf which has got ground almonds in it which helps to keep it and keep it well. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the cake. Thank you. The cake's cooled now, so shall we shall we cut a slice? Just pull away the side. You can see it's got some nice sugary topping on, and we'll just cut in. There we are. It's a nice slice. slice of our lemon drizzle loaf. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I love it and it does keep really well. And you must admit, it does look okay as you, as you look at that. So thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy your piece of cake. Thank you.